Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Mega Man X Part 9. I have good news for all of you, especially myself, obviously, because guess what I got? That probably didn't show you anything, but I finally got a controller to work for this emulator, so I can play the game a lot better now. But anyway, in the last episode, we took out Booma Kawanka and obtained Boomerang Cutter, which helps us get a few items, such as his heart tank and the sub-tank from Spark Mandrel's level. And in this episode, we're going to take out the final ma <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm eating a pizza. I just got home. Anyway, we're taking out the final Maverick, as far as the main Mavericks go. And, uh, yeah. So, without further ado... Mmm. This peach is good. Anyway, this is the forest level, so it looks like it would be, uh, normally in video games, the forest level is the first one, but ironically enough, this is our last one, so it's not harder than any of them, it's just, that's the way the order goes that I chose. And, uh, if you go down here, you, uh, smash these rocks either with your helmet or your boots. Alright, I'm gonna smash all of them and just to make this easier on me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I have two, I have two lives. Anyway... I don't need to do that. Just... Oh! Sorry. Shit! Even with the uh, fucking controller. I have never missed that before! So let's play Curse is strong! Anyway... For those curious about this... The controller I'm using is the one that I got from Play Sega from two or three years ago. It was a failed project by Sega, but I did get a damn good controller out of it. It's basically a Sega Saturn controller. So it's got six buttons, a D-pad, and uh, uh, L and R bumpers. Oops. I almost forgot my button configuration. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Alright, do a dash jump, and yeah. Dash jump back. A lot of times I die on the dash jump back because it's just pretty precise, but... Anyway, after you get your last heart tank, go up here. And we will fight a mini-boss. He's not hard by any stretch of the imagination, he just takes a little bit to take out. I remember this being a lot faster. Anyway, where you want to hit him is that little eyeball, I guess you would call it. It really helps to have a, a buster upgrade for this. Because, like I said, he's not hard, he's just long. He's got a lot of defense. I believe he hits you a lot, e a lot harder in the iOS version. I know this boss was, or er, mini boss was definitely added in the iOS version to be shorter, but I also think he hits harder, so it's a trade-off. Today's gamers honestly don't like lengthy boss fights. Which, I think the iOS version kind of caters to that a little bit. You know what? The iOS version in general is just easier. I don't know why I keep bringing it up. I just play it a lot because I got it on my iPhone and I take my phone with me everywhere. And it's just convenient. It's my favorite thing to play on there just to kill time. 
like, um, I live in the middle of bumfuck Kentucky, Columbia, if you guys know where that is. Probably none of you, unless you actually live here, know where that is. But, uh, it's about two hours to Nashville. And a good, solid playthrough of Mega Man X is about an hour and a half, so... That's kind of how I kill time whenever I go to Nashville, because my brother lives there. I can't believe how much damage I'm taking from this guy. Even though I got a... A controller now. The Let's Player Curse is still affecting me to where I don't play as good. I don't know if it's just pressure or what, but... He's steaming from two points of his head, which means he's almost dead. As there we go. Yeah. He doesn't have a health bar, but you can tell that he's almost dead when he starts steaming. And when he starts steaming from two points, then he's really close to dead. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. Really helpful in Sigma battles. Believe me. Sigma is hard as shit if you don't have all of the armor. And that's our final armor piece. Come on. There we go. And, yeah, now X is fully armored, but he's not fully upgraded. You'll see what I mean pretty soon. And by pretty soon, I mean at the end of this video. Anyway, just keep on going. Avoid these rock monsters, or get hit by them. I guess they're not really monsters, they're robots. Everything in Mega Man is a robot. Oh, shit. Alright. And, uh... I posted this on my channel, but for those watching and that don't really read what I put on my channel, I am, or I have, decided on my next LP. I'm not gonna say it yet, but I will say that it is on Super Nintendo, technically. That's your hint. It's technically on Super Nintendo. Have any ideas? And here is an oddly easy one up. One up. <sighs> I can't talk. All right, back in the right armor. He handles so much better with a controller than a keyboard. I don't know why. I just cannot control this fucker in a, with a keyboard. Don't know why. Just can't. All right. But, uh, yeah, go around destroying stuff, and, uh, I'm gonna check and see how full my sub-tanks are. Oh, fuck. Uh, I need to fill up my sub-tanks. I don't see how they're that low. Oh, well, I guess I'll farm for health sometime. I, I don't know why they are that low. I seriously don't. I think I... I don't know. <laughs> anyway. We're at the end of this fight. So, er, end of this fight. End of this stage. And, uh... We're coming at one of the few points where... The iOS version is actually easier. Or... <laughs> fuck. Where the iOS version is actually harder. And it's this fight right here. Not much, because like I said, the iOS overall is easier. But, I get, I guess they thought they didn't want it to be too easy. Yes, in the iOS version, he doesn't fall, so you can't get him in a pattern like this. Yeah, Sting Chameleon's a pushover. Pretty much all the enemies are if you have their weakness. Um, excuse me, I said you were a pushover, you dumb fuck. You dumb fuck bot. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we take we took out Stin Chameleon and that's our last of the main Mavericks.
But we are not done with this episode. You get Chameleon Sting. And uh, Chameleon Sting is strong against Storm Eagle. But, uh... Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Finally, we found Sigma's Fortress. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. But I'm not going into there yet because I need to, uh... Oh, and the music changes whenever you get to Sigma. And, uh... I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to fill up my sub-tanks and get some lives. And, uh... So I'm going to go to Armored Armadillo's level to farm for health and farm for lives. And, uh, there is one more... There's one more upgrade in this level. I will... cut to that. Okay, I am back. As you can see, we got six lives. That'll be important later. Anyway, after you have, technically you need five, but I'll explain in a minute why you need six, why you should have six. That's why you need six, because you're probably going to get hurt on this level. But... Once you have all your armor upgrades, really? Ah, fuck. I'm gonna have to die. Again. And again. I hope it's at least five, but I'm pretty sure you have to have exactly five lives, all the armor upgrades, and all the health capsules. And I think all the sub-tanks, although they probably don't necessarily have to be filled. And, uh... Come to Armored Armadillo's level. And... Uh... Just ride this, and you'll see the birds flying. Shoot them down so that you don't fall, basically. And then dash jump over here, and... Fuck. I'm going to have to die twice. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know why it has to be five lives exactly. Mm. Sorry, I was getting another piece of pizza. Come on. Come on. Alright. There we go. Five lives exactly. Full health. All armor. All energy cap. Or all heart tanks and all sub tanks. In other words, we got the we got the game damn near 100 percent minus the Sigma fight. So, go. Really, I got an extra life again. Ugh. Why didn't you give me those when I wanted them? Alright, let's try this once more. Well, as many times as it needs, because... If this is the most broken thing in the game. And it would just be a sin if I didn't show you. I hate... I hate wasting time like this, but... I do it for you. I do it for the fans. All ten of all ten of you. Seriously, right now I have ten subscribers. And if you give me another extra life, I will scream. Okay, get these fucking birds out of the way. Dash jump. What the fuck? Am I missing something? I got six lives. I need five. F-I-V-E. 
I'm probably not going to cut this just so you can guys can see my torture. But... I'm trying so hard not to spoil what it is, but I'm about to. If I don't get it this time, I'm going to cut. Okay? But seriously, that is kind of funny how it's giving me extra lives when I don't want them. Something that's supposed to be very lucky in the game turns out to be the most unlucky thing because you need exactly five for this. But, uh... They fixed that problem in the iOS version. What the fuck? Do I need four lives? My health looks full. I got all the weapons, I got all the sub tanks. Maybe it's four. I don't know, I might cut. But, um, I guess you guys like this, I don't know. I know people like seeing guys tortured. Alright, this time we got four lives. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna... I've done this before, so... Not like this is a blind LP, I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Anyway, it was fixed in Okay, it's four lives apparently. I give you a special present. Now enter the caption, please. And we get the most broken weapon in the game. The Hadouken. Yes, the Hadouken from Street Fighter. The same button combination. Half circle, shoot. Um, excuse me. Yeah. It's a little hard to pull off. There we go. I'm getting a little practice because it's actually a very useful weapon, and I'll show, I'll show it to you in action. I know we already beat uh, Armored Armadillo. This is going to be embarrassing if I... If I... Oh, never mind then. You don't fight the Mavericks again. But anyway, that's... I think this has been my longest video. But it might be just because I have to cut, so I don't know. But anyway, I will see you again in Mega Man X Part 10, and we will take out the final level of the game. Not really. I'll probably have to split it up into parts, because it's actually four parts of the final level. But, uh, see you then.